Researchers isolate eight new types of microorganisms that cleave ether bonds in the lignin-based compound, 2-phenoxyacetophenone. Lignin, a chief component of cell walls in plants, is naturally degraded in the soil. Identifying new microorganisms involved in this degradation can help develop novel lignin breakdown processes in industrial settings. Now, researchers from Tokyo University of Science have isolated eight microorganisms that degrade the lignin model compound 2-phenoxyacetophenone, 2-PAP. They found that one of these microbes uses a new, unidentified enzyme to cleave the ether bonds in 2-PAP, resulting in the formation of phenol and benzoate. Two microbes that perform this degradation were identified. White rot fungi through the production of peroxidases and lacases and sphingomonad bacteria with the help of intracellular enzymes. Identifying these microorganisms and finding out how they degrade lignin could enhance the overall understanding of the carbon cycle and facilitate the biotechnological applications of these microorganisms for lignin commercialization. The team also realized that none of the previous studies have focused on how microorganisms transform or degrade 2PAP. To find an answer to these questions, Dr. Furuya and his team conducted a study, published in scientific reports to screen microorganisms that utilize new ether bond cleaving enzymes, to transform 2-PAP. The bond cleaving activity was confirmed depending on the presence of phenol, which is generally produced as a result of ether bond cleavage. This led to the isolation of not one, but eight 2-PAP transforming microorganisms. These included seven bacteria from the genus Acinetobacter, Cupriavetus, Nocardioides, and Streptomyces, and one fungus from the genus Penicillium. To our knowledge, these are the first microorganisms demonstrated to cleave the ether bond of 2PAP, Dr. Furuya emphasized, when asked about these discoveries. Among the isolated microorganisms, the team examined a gram-negative bacterium, Acinetobacter sp. 2 SO1 in detail and discovered that it selectively and oxidatively cleaves ether bonds in 2-PAP, to produce phenol and benzoate. This was especially surprising, because beta-etherase, a well-studied enzyme known to perform this cleaving, gives phenol and acetophenone. This implies that this bacterial strain cleaves the ether bond of 2-PAP using an unidentified enzyme. When asked about the implications of these findings, Dr. Furuya says, these newly identified microorganisms might play important roles in the degradation of lignin-based compounds in nature. By clarifying the properties of these microorganisms, we can apply them to lignin-based compounds for the generation of aromatic compounds, as an alternative to petroleum. Moreover, they can be utilized for lignin valorization, especially for the conversion of low molecular weight compounds that have chemical structures similar to 2PAP. How is the technique for the identification of lignin-degrading microorganisms useful in the long run? Well, according to the authors, this established search technology can be widely applied to search for microorganisms that exhibit cleavage activity against other ether compounds, such as environmental pollutants. Scientific Reports, 2022, 12, 1, doi, 10. 1038 per second 41598, 022, 06816, 1 Tokyo University of Science. Developments in lignin degradation, new microorganisms and enzymes at play. Science Daily. https colon slash slash ift. TT, NMC PKLO, accessed February 24, 2022.
Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.